My father left a park to me, but it is wild and barren. A garden, too, with scarce a tree, and waster than a warren. Yet say the neighbors when they call, it is not bad but good land, and in it is the germ of all that grows within the woodland. I had I lived when song was great, in days of old Antheon, and tightened my fiddle to the gate, nor cared for seed or skyon. And I had lived when song was great, and legs of trees were limber, and tattened my fiddle to the gate, and fiddled in the timber. Tis said he had a tuneful tongue, such happy intonation. Wherever he sat down and sung, he left a small plantation. Wherever in a lonely grove he set up his forlorn pipes, the gouty oak began to move, and flounder into hornpipes. The mountain stirred its bushy crown, and as her tradition teaches, young ashes pirouetted down, coquetting with young beeches, and Briani vine and ivy wreath ran forward to his rhyming, and from the valleys underneath came little copses climbing. The linden broke her ranks and rent, the woodbine wreaths that bind her, and down the middle buzz she went, with all her bees behind her. The poplars in long order do with cypress promenaded, the shockhead willows two and two by rivers galopated, the birch tree swang her fragrant hair, the bramble cast her berry, the gin within the juniper began to make him merry. Came wet shot alder from the wave, came yews and dismal coteri. Each plucked his one foot from the grave, pausetting with a slow tree. Old elms came breaking from the vine, the vine streamed out to follow, and sweating rosin plumped the pine. From many a cloudy hollow. And wasn't it a sight to see, when ere his song was ended, like some great land slip, tree by tree, the countryside descended, and shepherds from the mountain caves looked down half pleased, half frightened, as dashed about the drunken leaves, the random sunshine lightened. O oh, nature first was fresh to men, and wanton without measure, so youthful and so flexile then, you moved her at your pleasure. Twang out my fiddle, shake the twigs, and make her dance attendance. Blow flute and stir the stiff set sprigs. And skirros roots and tendons. Tis vain in such a brassy age. I could not move a thistle, the very sparrows in the hedge, scarce answer answer to my whistle are at the most when three parts sick with strumming and with scraping a jackass he paws from the rick the passive oxen gaping but what is that i hear a song like sleepy council pleading o oh lord tis in my neighbor's ground the modern muses reading they read botanic treatises and works on gardening through there and methods of transplanting trees to look as if they grew there. The withered misses how they prose over books of traveled seamen, and show you slips of all that grows from England to Van Neeman. They read in arbors clipped and cut and alleys faded places, by squares of tropics, some are shut and warmed in crystal cases. But these, though fed with careful dirt, are neither green nor sappy, half conscious of the garden squirt, the spindlings look unhappy, better to me the meanest weed that blows up upon its mountain, the vilest herb that runs to the seed beside its native fountain, and I must work through months of toil and years of cultivation upon my proper patch of soil to grow my own plantation. I'll take the showers as they fall, I will not vex my bosom, 
Enough of that, the end of all. A literal garden blossom. And definitely one of the things we... If music's not just entertainment... but to move and move with the physical. The birch tree swang her fragrant hair, the bramble cast her berry, the gin within the juniper began to make him merry. So how will you change how you feel and make even what seems undesirable at first into your sort of sanctuary.